friends. I'm coming to you again with a little chit chat, get ready with me video. I have Gavin here on my lap, which who I'll show here in a second as soon as I'm done blending this. And I didn't wet my beauty blender because I didn't want to get up. So I'm just kind of patting it away. Anyway, so I don't really have any like real content like, uh, well, I do, obviously, this would be it. But I don't have any like real plans or anything specific that I was going to talk to you about today, but just more so about what's going on in my life and how I'm adjusting to mommyhood. So, um, as you can tell right now, I'm getting ready for work. I work evenings still. Um, the money is better in the evenings, but it also works out for the people who can babysit for me, which is Jacob's mom and a friend of ours. I know, I know. So yeah, that's what's working for us at the moment. Um, I'm sure, you know, at, things will change as time goes on, but that's what's going on right now. Anyway, so me and my lifestyle right now consists of this. Um, Gavin wakes up in the morning about mm. 9 or 9.30 and then we go to his room and I either tidy it up from the night before because I just kind of toss his dirty clothes from the day. Um, can you behave? <laughs> toss his clothes from the day before on the floor like, you know, over in the corner by his hamper because I never like open the hamper and put it in. Or, you know, I kind of get his laundry started um, if it's like a laundry day, like if it needs to be done. So right now he's drooling through a lot of bibs. He wears the same pajamas for two nights in a row um, just because he's kind of short on pajamas at the moment. And, you know, um, I don't mind. I don't mind putting him in the same ones two days in a row. And let's see. So anyway, that's that's what we do. If he's not in like a really stirry, crazy mood like he is right now, I put him in the crib and he just kind of hangs out there on his back or rolls over and he just like his own impromptu tummy time. And I'll eat a bowl of cereal in there while I'm doing those things. <clears throat> you want to say hi? He <laughs> he sees himself in the mirror. It's distracting him. Say hello. Say hello to Gavin. Look at my chubby face. Look how chubby I am. Look at me. I'm a chubby boy. I'm a chubby boy. He's still healthy though. Doctors don't have any concerns with how big he is because that's all I hear is about how big he is. Anyway, and then, um, you know, Jacob gets up a little bit later in the morning. And... Um, Gavin will have like a bottle about four in the morning and then if he wakes up again I'll uh, either nurse him or give him a bottle again around like six or seven or eight just depends on his mood and but his like official breakfast time like and I call it breakfast time because daddy's awake by that time his breakfast is at 10 and then after that, if he plays or is like for a while or if he's pretty tired, like almost immediately, he goes back to sleep. Once he goes back to sleep, then me and Jacob ha have breakfast. And then I have time for either washing the dishes or, you know, continuing with his laundry or packing up a, a meal or a snack. Um for mine and Jacob's work day and um, or wash his bottles you know just kind of doing a little tidying up if time permits if time doesn't permit then we got enough time to get breakfast in and then we're back to then we're back to Jacob <laughs> I mean back to Gavin excuse me um 
And then we either, you know, play on the floor. Jacob does some, you know, errands around the house or, you know, um, if he has time, he plays video games or watches TV with me, plays with Gavin on the floor with me, um, you know, for just a little while. And then, and then Gavin goes down for another nap. And that's when I get our work stuff ready. So our clothes or, you know, I do another load of laundry. I showered last night, so I didn't shower this morning. But normally I would take a shower during that second, like, noon, <laughs> noontime nap. He was awake for a really long time today, so he didn't take a really long, like, noontime nap. Um... But he did take a nap just now when Jacob left for work. Jacob leaves for work in about two. <laughs> He's exploring his voice. Jacob left for work at about 1.30. And then he didn't fall, didn't fall asleep right away. But um, he fell asleep for about half an hour, which was just enough time for me to... Use the restroom, make a cup of coffee. I ate a bowl of ice cream. And, um, you know, sometimes he's still asleep when I'm doing my hair and makeup, but, but you know, right now he's not. <laughs> so, I had just finished up my, my eyeshadow when he woke up, and that's when you saw me with the concealer in my eyes. Because he had just woken up. You be quiet. Be quiet. Shh. He's smiling at me. Um, so yeah. So in between this um, chunk of time, I get ready. I get ready for work. Um, if it was a good sleep day, I don't need to take a nap. If it's a bad sleep day, I take a nap. If it's an average day, we. It's like he babbles when I talk. When I'm quiet, he's quiet. <laughs> I have a cup of coffee around this time every day. Um, I've, I started drinking a cup of coffee as I do my makeup and hair for work. Um, instead of drinking a cup of coffee when I get to work so I can try sticking to water when I get to work instead of coffee and more coffee. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much how our daily routine goes. Um, when it's time for me to leave for work, I make sure I have his diaper bag ready, my purse is ready. My work apron is ready, and then I just, you know, I get everything as ready as possible so that if he's having, like, a meltdown or something and causes me to be late, at least I have everything in the car and, and ready to go. So I, I do that a little bit at a time, make sure his diaper bag is ready and in the car. And then I, um, my purse is usually almost always ready to go. My apron, I happen to leave in the... Really, Gav? It happened to be in the car from yesterday. So I don't... I just... I leave my apron there. I don't know how successful I'm going to be at putting my eyeliner on right now. No, not very. Um, so then, I take him down to... The area of town where I work because Jacob's mom who babysits for us on the weeknights meets me at work picks him up goes home and then I go into work then when I get out of work I go over there pick him up take bring him home then he's ready for a bottle and if not immediately sleep like sleepy time like he's having a meltdown ready for bed then I give him a bath and playtime and then bedtime if I'm not falling asleep by that point and um, I go to bed with him at the same time or I do another round of washing his bottles 
or the dishes or feed myself. <laughs> so that's my day in a nutshell. That's, that's my day. So Teal is having a little bit of a harder time adjusting to him. Immediately she was fine, but I feel like now she's having a little bit um, more difficult time because she wants to play with her toys. And I know that cats can get depressed and I feel like she kind of is. So I'm gonna make it a point to really make time to give her attention because she, she asks for attention and I give it to her but it's easier said than done to make time to play with her. And she knows what playtime is. She knows where her toys are. It's in a little basket near Jacob's side of the bed. So she gets her favorite. She gets another one of her favorites out. And if we haven't gotten her, if she hasn't gotten her attention by then, she'll just get any, any damn toy out of that basket. Like whatever it's gonna take. And she brings to us like a dog. She'll bring us her toy and she'll meow and howl to get our attention. And sometimes we can and sometimes we can't play with her. And that's hard, you know. I don't want her to feel neglected or unloved, but it's the truth. You know, sometimes it's just, like I said, easier. What's the matter? Did the video end? Did the video end? It's easier said than done to play with her and make time to do that. Oh my goodness. And let's see what else. What's the matter, baby? Are you gonna ready for a nap? Are you ready for a nap? Mommy's almost done. Actually, no, I'm not. But... Let's see. I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to talk about today other than what my day is. Oh, Gavin. Who's that? Who's that? Who is that? Yes, that's you. Anyway, like I said, I only wanted to talk about what my day consists of. But I gotta go try and put him down back to sleep. I'm gonna finish my hair. I'm gonna start my hair, finish my makeup. Make myself a sandwich before I go to go to work. And then we're gonna go. So I hope that this really random video was entertaining to you. I apologize that he's distracting. He's usually well behaved, I swear. All right, we're gonna go. Thanks a lot for watching this really random impromptu video, but I enjoy talking to you guys. And I'm, me too. That's how I feel. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.